Welcome back to DX Explorer for one more video. Uh, I promised uh, that uh, during the weekend I'm gonna come back with a PTT or CW transceiver um, uh, modified version, but uh, unfortunately I got sick and I spent my weekend in bed. But anyway, I built this one um, last year, I think it was the first video in 2022 for the channel and uh, I decided to modify it a little bit and that is what I have right now. Um, I have this removable crystal socket uh, which is actually um, um, some pins that I soldered uh, with a little hole on the other side and um, in here I, this one is for the CW key this is the audio output. Um, this red LED, it will light up every time I'm transmitting. This is the power LED and it will light up as soon as I plug in the power supply. And if I run out of battery, of course, this one will die. And I know that uh, <laughs> my transmitter is no longer working, so I don't have to wonder uh, why it's not transmitting or why I don't hear anything. And of course, the antenna. So. I was actually very happy with the original design. Uh, you don't really have to do too many modifications. The only issue that this one had, um, the, the original Pititico, is that it has no uh, output filter and uh, it had a lot of M broadcast band interferences most of the time and I wanted to get rid of those. Unfortunately, sometimes because of the NFED half-wave antenna that I'm uh, using, I also have a, a very annoying buzzing sound, especially when there are LED lights uh, around or outside or from the light uh, on the street and I just couldn't get rid of that buzzing sound. But other than that, at least I got rid of the M broadcast band interferences. Now if I'm out uh, somewhere in the, far away from the village, um, I don't have that uh, buzzing sound. So yeah, this is the way I built it. Um, it was somehow a, as an experiment. So it doesn't look very pretty, but it works well. Um, on the screen, you can see the schematic right now uh, of the modified version of the, the this particular one that I built. And um, yeah, the, the only thing that uh, I've added, it was this, uh, modified pi filter on the output uh, so i can get rid of the m broadcast band interferences and if you read the, the blog article i explain a, a lot more in there because i don't want to go in detail in here to waste your time but uh, i just wanted to talk about the way you, you actually um, tune this one very very easy all you have to do is to connect a dummy load with a power meter on the output and you start transmitting and then you're gonna have to squeeze or spread the turns on the toroid until you get the maximum power output um, from the transceiver. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all you have to do. It's it's quite simple. And uh, I got rid of the M broadcast band interferences. There's now none of them. Uh, probably sometimes late in the evening, now and then, not always. I might uh, hear a little bit of some uh, station from China. There's only one that I usually hear, but uh, it's a very weak signal, so it doesn't be it doesn't bother me very much. Um, so yeah, it's uh, the the simple version that uh, you have on the website. It's uh, without any LEDs or buzzer. I have a buzzer as well, just so I can hear myself when I'm transmitting. But the simple version doesn't have this, it's just a basic uh, transceiver as it was originally designed and uh, with this uh, pi filter on the output. It's a modified pi filter and it actually acts like a bandpass filter. So it's really, really nice. So yeah, let's see. If I'm lucky to have some propagation, I'm actually going to do a test and uh, <laughs> um, you get to actually listen to how it sounds as well through the um, LM386 audio amplifier that I built some while ago. Um, the power output of this particular version, it's about uh, 500 milliwatts. 
uh, you can increase that power to 400 uh, sorry to 800 milliwatts or sometimes up to one watt uh, by changing the value of the capacitors i think i explained that in the in the blog article but uh, i wouldn't recommend it because the transistor ends up uh, overheating and you might end up burning it so you're just gonna have to switch transistors over <laughs> and over again and that might not be very pleasant pleasant but with 500 milliwatts you can have a lot of fun and uh, yeah i still didn't get to learn um, the morse code but hopefully soon because i really want to start doing this uh, cw fun uh, it's a lot of fun and i think it's more fun than, than a single sideband <laughs> anyway let's put this back together and uh, see if we can actually hear something on the 40 meters band uh, talking about the, the way I build this PTT co because I, I wanted this wooden case, uh, I just liked it, the way it looks. You can actually build it uh, big or you can build it very, very tiny. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to, <laughs> to um, use your uh, imagination to build it in all sorts of uh, enclosures, see if, how small you can actually build it. Um, one of uh, them that I really liked was built by um, David from QRP Lifestyle, and uh, yeah, you should you should check his video. I'm gonna link, uh, I'll leave the link uh, down in the video description. Um, he modified it for the 10 meters band, and it works really nice. And he he did a couple of QSOs with it, so yeah. Yeah, the propagation is not the best right now. Uh, maybe I'm more lucky later on in the evening. But uh, yeah, it sounds really nice. Uh, the only thing is that I realized that if I'm using the, the transmitter, Every time I'm transmitting, I have to put the volume down of the audio amplifier so it doesn't go crazy. And uh, this is how it sounds with the little buzzer. And then, once you finish transmitting, you turn on the volume on the audio amplifier. So, uh, if you're curious, this is uh, the way it sounds in the uh, true SDX transceiver it has just a tiny tiny little bit of chirp but uh, it's, it's still okay so uh, yeah <laughs> it's, it's quite a nice project I think you should uh, try it just for fun at least uh, it's uh, it's really nice to build something that is really tiny and actually works um, there are many projects many transceivers for for cw with uh, just one single transistor some of them are simple some of them are a little bit complicated uh, complicated comparing to the pt tico i'm talking about they're actually very simple but uh, yeah, it's, it's, I find it interesting to build these tiny projects. <laughs> I really like them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to check the blog article. I'm going to leave a, a link in the video description because I posted a lot more uh, details in there. And uh, right now, I guess, uh, starting from next week, I'm going to start coming back with a couple of video requests. Uh, I had one for a CW key, the way I'm building my wooden CW keys, so I'm gonna uh, make a video for that. I was behind with, with that one. Um, there was somebody else who requested uh, an FM uh, receiver. Probably I'm gonna do a 2 meters band FM receiver at some point, but um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to have the time. Uh, to do it the other week but I'm gonna try see what schematic I can find and if I have the time to experiment a little bit and after that uh, <laughs> Ian sent me the FTA transceiver 
from QRP guys, I believe, two years ago when I first started the channel and I still didn't get to build it. So right now I'm going to have to um, to start working on that one and I really want to build, build that one. And uh, after that we'll see what else will come. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, 73.